my name is Valerie. Today I'm so excited to share with you a very full of heart graphic memoir. Read with Val. Read on, have fun, and dream big. This book is called Family Style and it is by Sienna Pham. This book, like I said before, is a memoir of the author himself and is written in like a graphic novel format. And I would rate this book a 10 out of 10. Imagine fleeing from your home country at a very young age and always living in constant confusion and struggle. Well, that is the case for Thien, our main character, and his journey growing up. He was born in Vietnam but had to escape Vietnam at a very young age. He and his family's journey by boat takes them to Thailand, a very unfamiliar and kind of chaotic place. And they find themselves in a refugee camp in Thailand. Life in Thailand is a huge struggle and the Pham family has to make a lot of sacrifices and face a lot of hardships in order to get past. Eventually they relocate to California and ultimately Than's personality and identity are shaped by fusing together the memories and places of his childhood. And along the way, food becomes a treasure and something never to take for granted. This book is called Family Style because even through every challenge, every joyous moment, the Fam family sticks together and shares every meal together. Food becomes such a vital and important part of Than's childhood and life and every food has a new meaning and symbol to it. I can also connect to this a lot because food for me um, means like a lot of different things and can remind me of different places. For example, in my case, food from Hong Kong, um, like I really enjoy egg waffles, dim, dim sum, um, chong fun, and more remind me so much of Hong Kong and the summers that I've spent there. And eating it in the United States, um, is very nostalgic because it reminds me of the summertime uh, but it also makes me crave um, Hong Kong foods even more. I think many people rel will relate to the correlation between food and certain memories or places and so this is a really unique and fun way to show uh, that connection. In addition, I just love the images and drawings that this book has and they add so much to the story. So I'll show you a page. They are just amazing. Um, and they really give you a feel for what the characters look like, their facial expressions, the settings, and so much more. In all, I recommend this book for all ages and I'm confident that no matter your background, no matter your age, you'll find a way to connect to this very heartfelt and amazing book. I hope everyone enjoys it as much as I do, and I'll see you guys later. Remember to read on, have fun, and dream big. Bye!